and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going over the best players in each position in Madden 20 right now, guys. Now, we have some of the new free agency players. Free agency part two did come out today. We'll be dropping pretty soon. Now, one of those guys will be making it, so I will be using a screenshot for him at the pun that it does come up. I'm guys, super excited for this. You guys typically like when I make this video. I mean, in my opinion, I enjoy doing this video. It gives you guys, I know, like, when I was younger, I know I'm kind of bouncing around here, guys, but when I was younger and I was watching Madden YouTube, it was always those days where I was like, okay, so I gotta upgrade my cornerbacks today. And I was like, who should I pick up? What you like, what do the YouTubers think? What do people think? Like, who's is this guy better than this guy? And no one really did stuff like that. So I feel like this is a pretty cool video for you guys to really help you guys out and understanding like my thought process behind each position. Kind of should you be waiting? Like, and not just like, let's say I go to quarterback. I might pick a guy and be like, he's good, the best right now. But you should wait for this guy. Like, I, I'm going to give that advice in there too. So it should help you guys out. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to boys. Come join the family. Let's keep the community growing. Let's keep this, this family growing here, guys. Like the video. Always helps. And let's see if we can keep growing all the way to Madden 21. And hopefully keep building from there. But guys, let's get over to quality. As per usual, or actually, let's start with the. We gotta start the position. That would make no sense to our quality. So I start with the quarterback. In my opinion, who is the best quarterback in Madden right now? Now, guys, there's two guys, but I'm gonna do one because the price to skill ratio is just unreal, and that's Patty Mahomes. Now, Lamar Jackson's a close second, guys. Now, Lamar Jackson, if you want, if you're, if you have an offense like I had at one point this year, where it was strictly like run the ball scramble make like improvising like making plays happen that's all you're doing all that making plays or scrambling making plays lamar's your guy but lamar's throw power and certain things he can't get he can't get certain throws off he's not as accurate as some other guys mahomes for the best bang for your buck 630k he everything's almost 99 max out when you power and come up and he's got good speed and he, he has gets escape artists and dashing dead eye i don't really need to say much more the golden ticket lamar is gonna be freaking crazy but for now quarterback side it's patty mahomes pick him up set it forget it and trust me you have no issue with him he could be there for the rest of the year. You really don't have to upgrade from him. You can, but you don't have to. I probably will because I do want to pick up some of the golden ticket quarterbacks. Which, guys, as far as quarterbacks go, I think the only thing that's going to be better than him is going to be golden ticket quarterbacks, which are not going to be cheap to come by. So it really depends on what you guys are thinking there. Now, as far as that, all the running backs I played with, guys, Saquon Barkley was probably the best one, but don't sleep on Eric Dickerson, guys. He's a little bit cheaper. If you guys don't have the coins, I have no problem with you guys going with him. But for the time being, Saquon Barkley, 97 overall. Right now, you can set it and forget. He could be easy in game. Now, do you have to keep him in game? No, running backs will get better. There'll be running backs that have like a 97 base speed, which means that he'll, he'll get 99 with ease. There'll be running backs with like 90, uh, 92, 93 truck, which means he'll get to like close to 99 with the 99 speed. There's going to be running backs that get a human joystick. So there'll be running backs that get slightly better, but you could easily rock with Saquon. Gets close to almost 99 everything, chemmed up, minus catching and trucking and elusiveness, but it does come pretty close in everything besides trucking. And catching, obviously, that's just an extra stat. Saquon Barkley is amazing, guys. I played with him. I've done gameplays on the channel. Played great. Highly recommend you guys scoop him. Fullback, guys. Oh, this is an easy one. I've been telling you guys all all year. As for everyone who's watching my channel, you know, I've been saying at fullback, you gotta wait for the Christian Corey to drop. Now he did drop as an LTD. The only advice I can give you at this moment in time is to pick up him with a power pass. But do you want to waste that on a fullback? I don't entirely think so. So what you could potentially do if you guys don't feel like actually wasting the coins on him or is your power pass wait for his redux card for now or power him up power him up all the way to like his 95 ish yeah you could power up like we're trading to 95 it's almost as good as this one for a way cheaper cost that's my best recommendation you guys could do guys he's fast he can run he can play running back he can catch a back pass out of the backfield and burn someone with that speed highly recommend you guys try him out great 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 fullback now wide receivers guys for in my opinion Wide receivers, we're at a point where all wide receivers are getting pretty similar because of what you can do with chem boost. Like I always say, I have a I have a combo of three that I'm pretty much working out with for the rest of the year. So I think Calvin's one of the ones you want to have. Six foot five frame, glitchy animations. I think he's one of the ones you're gonna want to have. And then as your number two, guys, I really recommend you use that Tory Holt. Tory Holt's insane. People don't like Tory Holt, and I don't understand why. If you get him all up to his 99, which all you gotta do is hit level 100, he gets 99 speed with sprinter. Okay, 99 speed. He gets 99 catch. Like 95 catch in traffic, like 95 spec catch, 99 route running almost all around. He's insane. He's a great receiver. He's a great kind of slot kind of guy. And he's six feet tall and he's elusive. He can juke. Tory Holt's great. I think you want Calvin Johnson, Tory Holt. And the third receiver, do what you want. I have Tyree Kill there. Although I don't think he'll last there permanently because 
he's just he's a speed guy and at this point everyone's got that speed so he might be going getting the boots like fourth or something at some point but he's not bad in general moving on down to tight end so tight end's a position where i'm gonna give i'm gonna recommend who i want i think you should get now but you could always wait on them now guys hunter hunter henry is a sneaky good second i don't think he's your first but a sneaky good second type tight end because of that speed and run block combo he's kind of like a cheaper george kittle so if you don't want to invest in george kittle hunter henry could be your guy just as good similar speed great run block i'm telling you guys very similar to george kittle but i think end game for me like george kittle is great too don't get me wrong george kittle again same thing as hunter henry hunter henry is actually a little bit better if you want a budget version you can go with hunter henry like i said I think, in my opinion, here are the three you want. You're going to want, well, you need two at least, in my opinion. You're going to want Tony Gonzalez. I think Tony Gonzalez powered up is your best bet at tight end with a second of Hunter Henry or George Kittle. Now, Tony Gonzalez, I take over them because he can catch better. He can route one better. Currently, same speed, just about six foot five. And he will be getting an Ultimate Legend card probably pretty soon, 90 overall, more than likely. And that card will have 99 catching, 99 route running, 92 speed gonna be faster than them gonna catch better he can't run block but that's why you need a second tight end that can run block so you can do your runs to the, the second tight end side in my personal opinion that is the best way to go about doing so now let's head over to now guys the lineman i'm not gonna go through the lineman i'll be honest with you guys it's, it's kind of boring and they're also in my opinion you go with the best cheapest lineman and do what you need because something like let's say joe thuny he's better pass blocker or worse run blocker maybe you don't pass at all go with better run blocker guys as long as you go with go with the cheapest ones because they're like ultimate legends are dropping in price the free agency linemen are dropping in price. If you want to build a line for as cheap as possible, if you can do a whole line of NFL 100, or you can do a whole line of, or actually Ultimate Legend, or a whole line of uh, free agency, build it all together, probably do it for about 1.2 million coins. You got a stacked 99 powered up, chemmed up line. You're fine, in my opinion. I, I don't want to waste time there because that can be quite time consuming for cars that are very similar. Coming to left end. Left end, in my opinion, there's been a tough position all year. So there's been some guys that have looked good on paper and they weren't too good. Now, I would, in my opinion, guys, there's two if you're looking for the best bang for your buck you power up calais campbell team of the year because that then gets you his nfl honors for free powered up to and then you can then and then it'll be a 98 overall what counts probably a 99 the best bang for your buck is probably powering up calais campbell now if you're going for a little bit up more a little bit more pricey demarcus lawrence pretty insane right now gets 99 block shake gets 99 finesse move gets 99 play rec gets 90 plus excel it's great demarcus lawrence one of the best left ends in the game right now now beyond that guys ed tutel jones is an insane block shutter not the best pass rusher although it didn't it didn't feel like he was the best pass rusher when i had him but beyond that guys until they start dropping some higher tier left ends i highly recommend you just stick with one of the ones i just named i don't i don't think those are all end game in my opinion i think they can be better but we don't have those just yet people do like julius peppers as well julius, nothing wrong with julius peppers but his block shutter was a little too low for me i you know big run game this year right end no joke guys aaron donald was before his time He's an insane card, and he's still, he's an old card, but he's insane. He gets 99 block shed, 99 power move, close to 99 finesse move, close to 99 play rec, great athleticism, 99 strength, power him up, you're done for the year. Aaron Donald's that guy. Trust me, you don't you don't have to even think about it. Just power him up, and you're done. He's, he plays insane. You can put abilities on him if you want. Now, defensive tackle is a weird position. It really comes down to preference. Now, Warren Sapp, even across the board, 95, 95, 93, 95, very even across the board. Then you come down to Mean Joe Green, who, where's Mean Joe? Is that up right now? Alan Page, again, another great guy. More athletic, but more jack, more, more well-rounded on the lower ends where he's even lower on things, which is why I'm not a fan of that, um, of the Alan Page as much. I think Warren Sapp is probably the best bang for your buck, but Mean Joe Green is the better one overall, more than likely he's a 98. Mean Joe Green might be better because he gets higher block shed, same power move, better strength like he get he, everything's a little bit higher you lose i think a slight athleticism maybe not it might be actually the same no i think you lose a little bit but you get better strength block shedding and you're gonna get a similar power move power up i think mean joe green's the move and he's super cheap which really isn't a bad bad uh price at all for a 90 overall left uh left that's all linebacker defensive uh defensive tackle now here's the issue with left that's linebacker that i've had all year i personally want one rushing right outside linebacker and one coverage left outside and they haven't had a coverage guy as far as pass rushing guys, Kevin Green, you guys might you guys are all sleeping on this guy. He everyone thinks he's ass because he's usually ass. 258 is what we're looking like. He gets 89 speed, 91 excel, 94 power, 98 finesse move, 86 block shed. You power up and come him up. You get his block shed to a 90, finesse moves a 90, power of 99, his speed's a 91, with sprint it's 92. So he's gonna be really fast, gonna be well-rounded, and he can and he has really great finesse move and decent block shed. 
Now, TJ Watt's pretty good too. His block shot's gonna be better, but you lose athleticism. So it's would you rather have better run stopping or better athleticism speed? That's pretty much the difference between the two. That's really all I can justify there. Jerome Baker's pretty decent in zone and run stopping because he has that speed. So it comes up, to, it comes down to you guys and what you want. If you want a guy with just speed in the in the area to play, it really just depends. Now coming over to middle linebacker, this is where things start to get a little bit tougher too. So guys, in my opinion, middle linebacker is a position where I'm waiting a little bit longer. I personally would rather get the Devin White gauntlet, guys. Go go do your gauntlet. Get the gauntlet at master. Get Devin White. He'll be 97 overall. Powered up. That card will have like a 95 speed. Going to be, or like 94 speed. Going to be a crazy user. With sprint and all. Going to be a crazy user. Get him. And then, go on ahead. And put him as your one. And as your two, I use Shay's year. So that, that'll probably be it for the year for me for now. But in terms of buying a card that you might need... I think Willis might be the best option. Power up Willis. Gonna get 94 speed with abilities. No, with, with sprint, you'll get a 94 speed powered up, which is super fast. Then you'll probably be getting a ultimate legend soon, which will put his zone above to like an 85, probably 99 hit power, probably like a 96 speed chemmed up and everything, which is gonna be pretty insane. Highly recommend. I think Willis is the best bet because Lewis might be done for the year at this point and he's the same speed as Willis. So I think you're better off with, well, I mean, yeah, you're better off with Willis in my opinion. That's just what I think. Coming out to Rattles linebacker, Guys, simple, simple. I've been telling you guys, okay, if you want a zone guy, you want a zone guy to play coverage, get Fred Warner. That's just my opinion. Fred Warner, if you want the zone interception type guy that you can like play play like a more of a speedy role for you. Fred Warner, if you want to get a pass rusher like most people do on the right outside linebacker spot, Lawrence Taylor, 172K, 76K, sorry. He's going to get an ultimate legend soon, and that will be the best pass rusher in Madden 20. He will have a 99 block, should more than likely power from Chemdub. He will have a 99 power move, 99 finesse move. Above a 90 play rec, gonna have like a 94 speed with sprinter, which is freaking insane. Guys, Lawrence Taylor's your guy. Get him in, get him now for a cheap price, power him up, and you just wait on his next card. Next, going on to cornerback. Guys, this is one of these guys aren't officially out yet, so I can't put it. I'm gonna put him on this list as one of the number two or number three, but you're not gonna be able to see him at this moment in time. But if you watched my video yesterday, you do know he's coming. Guys, there's a lot of great cornerbacks. I think you always gotta have a Dion on your team. But the thing with Dion is, for most competitive people, you probably can't be putting Dion as your number one corner. Put him as like your number three or number two. Put him in like a slot. As a slot guy, he's perfect. He'll get crazy jumps, crazy interceptions. Just, you need a Dion in there. Dion all around gets all 99 stats besides press. He's just insane. You gotta have Dion on there. He'll make big, he'll, he'll, he'll play offense for you, essentially. Next on your team, in my opinion, I think that the Byron Jones is coming out today in approximately about 20 minutes. When you see this video, it's out already. That Byron Jones is the next greatest card in Madden right now, or one of the greatest cornerbacks. Now, that Byron Jones gets almost all 99, like 99 speed, 99 excel. He's going to get 99 press, 99 zone. He's going to get like 97, 98 man. The card's just unreal. He's going to be locked down. You guys said he can't catch. That's fine. He doesn't have to catch. If he's swatting everything and it's Madden, he will catch it anyways. Trust me, that Byron Jones is insane. He's going to be one of the most clamped physical corners in Madden. With 99 jumping, he's going to get crazy interceptions on plays where you think that you have him beat. And he has decent height. And then, guys, well, the true number one is probably Nitrain Lane. Those guys are just the ones I prefer. But Nitrain Lane, you power him up to his 98, guys, and I promise you. Like, that's probably what I'm going to use my power pass on, more than likely. This 98 Nitrain Lane right here is insane, too. Similar to Byron Jones, going to have all 99, like, coverage. 99, close to 99 press. Close to 99 speed. Going to be close to 99 everything. But the difference between him and Byron is that Byron's a little bit more athletic. But Nitro Lane's better at returning interceptions. He's better at catching and he has a way better hit power. Nitro Lane can play the boom. Byron can't. And Nitro Lane can catch and play kind of like Dion. That's the difference. Dion, Nitro Lane, Byron Jones, set it and forget it. And maybe a champ Bailey later in the year. That could offset my thinking as far as that goes. And now free safety. In my opinion, guys, my personal opinion, I went with Sean Taylor. Now I'm going to show you guys who the better card at this moment in time. Guys, first off, Minka's very good. People are going to kill me for not saying it. Minka is very good. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's between Brian Dawkins and Sean Taylor. Now, in my opinion, personally, I went with Sean Taylor. And there's a reason for that. He's more athletic than Brian Dawkins by a decent amount with acceleration already. He's taller. Same hit power. All the stats that matter. Hit power, zone, athleticism. He's pretty much better than all those stats or the same. And Sean Taylor hasn't gotten a new card yet. Sean Taylor will probably get an Ultimate Legend card, hopefully, which will be a 98 overall, and it'll completely blow away this Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins may be done for the year, so that's kind of why I went with him. Strong safety. Okay, either going Troy Palomalu or you're going Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman got new upgrades. I'd recommend at this point using a 99 Pat Tillman, but Troy Palomalu is still amazing, but the new Pat Tillman is probably going to be better than this. So it comes down to your preference, but I think I'll probably go back to the new Pat Tillman, although this Sean Taylor, this Troy Palomalu was insane. 
Guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll not be doing kickers and punters. It's kind of a waste of time. But kickers, Zane Gonzalez. I think he has the best kick power. Always go for the best kick power in the game. That's all you really need. I mean, kick, kick accuracy, as long as you don't mess up the kick, it's going to be pretty good. But that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. You want to refute anything I said. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.